eyes and then the magic record and then vision part. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because we're making vision boards today. I haven't done mine and no, it's not too late. As I said before, I always do my goal planning and vision boards usually near the end of January because December and the start of the year is a shit show basically. Anyways, today I want to be showing you guys how to make your own digital vision board. So as you can see, these are my ones from last year. I used to do your physical one, but I honestly found that I just didn't really look at it as much as I do obviously on my phone or on my laptop. So that's why I love digital so we're going to be making our new ones together today i want to be showing you step by step i use canva and it is honestly the easiest way to do it it's for free and i think you can pay to get extra features but you just don't need to do that so i'm going to be holding your hand every step of the way now vision boards are one of those things that you hear thrown around a lot and you're like does it actually work steph like is this shit real does it actually do something and yes it does there's actually science on it as well here's the receipts to show that vision boards work so in science there's research that has found if you frequently see yourself achieving that goal when you look at your vision board so like crossing the finish line or getting that job or whatever you want to do your brain will see that goal is actually happening so your brain never doesn't know if it's really happening or if you're being able to picture it so clearly every single day like it actually thinks it's happening so your brain will actually create new neural pathways that will create the actual behaviors that you need to achieve that goal which is amazing like honestly i'm actually reading a book at the moment it's joe dispenza my mind is blown like i didn't realize how powerful our brain was so we're going to be making this together today and there's certain steps that you will need so let's get straight into it all right step one is actually having your goals written out next to you and honestly we all know that physically writing things down also shows that you're more likely to achieve them and i obviously have my own planner and stationary brand so i'm a paper galley but this is my journal for 2024 it's my step based planners vegan leather notebook and i just cover it in stickers i'm already nearly halfway through and it's only january oh god anyway um so have your actual goals written out next to you now if you haven't done your goal setting yet please go back to my first 2024 reset roadmap video and i literally take you step by step on how to create your goals and then break up the year into a special framework so you actually achieve your goals and i also take you through the different categories and how you break your goals down into habits so i'll link that below so yes have your goals written out in front of you so i've got mine here in the different categories of my life so with your goals i've got home health personal financial career and family which can also be relationships so having different goals in different areas of your life is very very good and we also want to make sure that reflects in our vision board all right before i get into it i might give you guys a little tour of my vision board from last year um so last year i had these down is down here is for work so this is kind of like a bit of a vision board for my warehouse we actually just moved warehouse and i probably will use these again for this year we got some setbacks from last year which mean we didn't finish our house and things like that then also i used some renders which is what our new house is going to look like um which we're building at the moment so i'll probably keep those as well but things like this like we i really really wanted to travel last year didn't know how but it ended up happening which was incredible eating well having more time to do things like my hobbies so having this chick up here that's painting more reading and then obviously healthy food and yeah things like that so that was kind of the vision board for last year and then i also obviously did my phone version of it so i had like the healthy chick food um, a bit of travel and things like that. So I want to show you guys how to make it for your desktop, but also like convert it into your phone as well. All right, so step one, we're going to head to Pinterest. And this is where we're going to get all like our images, really. So with your photos, you're obviously going to be searching them for the different categories and the goals that you've obviously got next to you, but also using images that just make you feel a certain way. So for me, this year, I want to feel really present. I want to feel really calm. So like say a photo like this, obviously I want to keep reading, but this is like a great image to make you really encapsulate that or maybe it could be a really cute photo of a house that's really calming um things like that and if it just makes you feel a certain way you can use that it doesn't have to be exactly what the picture is of if you know what i mean so let's get into it and we also want to make sure we're covering pretty much all of our categories as well so ones like this this is really nice and again like i already do reading and all that but i want to have a more like calming year i want to have like a slower year because work's just been crazy also getting um like if you want to do quotes and things like that i love to have a few quotes in there or just words like intentional words where it could be present or calm and it could just be those you can have them in there as well so hop in pinterest and pick all your photos Also with this as well, you can use past images of yourself. There could have been a photo of you guys in the past 
where you felt a certain way or maybe you're being really kind to yourself and you just remember how you felt in that moment, you can put that on your vision board. Like you're allowed to put yourself on your vision board, 100%. Like for me, for example, I'm probably gonna pop something like this on my vision board. It's obviously a picture of me in the fan, but like that's like my why behind all these goals. Like my why behind everything I do and my goals is my family. So you can put things like that also in your vision board as well. It doesn't have to just be Pinterest stuff. It could be whatever you want it to be. A little tip also, if you find an image that you kind of like, but you're like, or oh, maybe not, if you scroll down, very similar images will pop up as well. So you can keep looking. So this picture, for example, I really like this because it shows me a few different things. Like this shows me healthy eating, but also it shows me of having like time off and being able to just to like hang out during the day, go out on the weekends and just like do whatever you want. Cause right now my goal is to have way more work-life balance. So this kind of represents a few different things for me. Like that's how it makes me feel. So that's what I'm kind of going for. All right, so now you've saved everything from Pinterest, I want you to go to Canva. So it's literally canva.com and this is free. You can pay extra to get extra features, but you honestly don't need to. It is the best. I use this for everything, honestly. So what you can do, if you want a bit of inspiration, literally just search vision board and they can give you some templates. In here, there's heaps of different designs for vision boards. So you can like just literally pop in your images yourself. There's different um, sizes and things as well. So you can go for something like this and then you literally would be dragging your own images. You can keep these or change the wording and things like that, but there's just so many different options. So it's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, go in here, choose one that we like. I really like this kind of one, there's so many. I love the scrapbook kind of vibe and you can um, layer it with like cute little elements, which I'll teach you what to do as well. So just go in there and pick one. So I'm gonna start with the desktop version first. So I might put in here vision board, desktop, and then you'll get the right ratio for your computer. Canva is also kind of similar with Pinterest. If you click on one you like, and then you scroll down, they show you very similar versions as well. So it's kind of like really easy to use in that way. All right, so I've decided to go with this one because I'm so indecisive, but we're just gonna go with it. So then you go customize this template and then it's gonna open up for us. All right, so now it's opened up for us. We wanna go to uploads and this is where we're gonna upload all of those photos we just downloaded from Pinterest. So you just click on uploads, upload files, and then you go through all your downloads that you've just done. A little trick here if you have a Mac, if you click on the bottom one and then press shift and then click on the top one, it selects all of them, which is so handy. So you just upload that. So they'll just start uploading there and then you just literally drag them across into your own vision board. All right, so that's all loaded. So literally pick it up, drag it, pop it in. That's it, that's how easy it is. It's so, so simple, love it. And also if you pop them in and you wanna move it, you just double tap and then you can slide it across. Now, when it comes to these ones, you can just delete it. Some of them might be just typed, so I can just retype that or change it, or you can just delete it and put your own quotes in there as well. Now, if you wanna make one of these bigger, so what I can do is I just grab it and like literally move it. So I can go like that, for example. And then you can make the others move around it, but you can also go to position, which is up here, and then you can choose what layers. So if you've got something underneath it that's smaller, so say that one you want it to layer up, you can actually bring that up and then it will be on top, if that makes sense. So I would just grab it here. You can see the layers and then I drag it up and then that will actually overlap it. So you can do things like that and you can have a little play around with it. So you can see there's a bit of an issue here with layering. So all I do is go layer, show layers, and then we can just bring her up again, like we did last time. And then it won't get hidden. And then this little brown one at the back, we can go here again if you want to. And then you can say, bring forward. 
so then it's not covering everything. So you can do it like a couple of different ways. Um, so as you can see, I've just changed these to what my quotes are for the year. So one, which I'm going to talk about in a vlog is every day feels like Saturday. Cause you know, literally our thoughts control everything. I'm not going to go too deep, but basically I want every day to feel like Saturday and we have that power, but we're going to figure it out together. But that is just something that is my, like my mantra for the year. Also fearless. And I've also got another one, which I'm going to write in here as well. Now with text, if you want to make it smaller or bigger, you can control it all up here. You can also change the font. Um, you usually find the ones that are already pre-made, they're pretty good and you can just use them. But if you do want to change it up, you can, and you can make the sizing smaller and you can also like change the alignment and all of that good stuff. There's also effects as well. We've come very far, haven't we? Since um, the nineties kids had, what was it like kids picks or some shit? <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. Just to show you guys an example, I might still have a play around with it, but that is pretty much the basis of it. So, you know, you can go in there, change all the font, chuck in your photos, move things around. So now what we want to do, if you want to like add a few more different elements, there's this really cute little thing that you can do. So you can go over here to elements. And if there's like any little clips or like scrapbooky kind of vibes you want to pop in there, you can. So let's just say, I don't know, flower, scrapbook or something, just to give it a bit more. You can do that. So you hop in here, you go see all in graphics and there's all these different things you can add in. So you want to add some like cute stars. Like you can literally like search anything at all. Anything you want. Just chuck in vision board and see what comes up. Vision board. So yeah, it has like vision board. has like these types of things. Nothing really too exciting in that one actually. Um, you could also have quotes. So you've got these cute ones that are already done and you can pop them in there yourself. I like to do scrapbook and then it has like all these random things you can put in a scrapbook, which I think is really cute and fun. Like tape, you can make things look like they've been taped on, which is really pretty. Friends, like magazine cutouts, all that stuff. So it just depends what kind of vibe you're going for. Write down scribbles and see what comes up there as well. And then you've got all these like cute drawings you can pop on top. So have a play and you, all you do is like drag it across or just click it like manifest and that pops up straight away. You can change the colors for most of them, not all of them, but you can change the colors, you can move it, all that stuff. Oh, cut out. I like this, like the real looking ones. And then the magic recommendations will come up and they can show you other ones. So that one's one that you will actually need to pay for, but there's obviously a lot of free ones. I actually do pay, but I'm in the wrong, I mean like the wrong profile, cause I'm silly. So just doing little things like that. And you just like pop the little flower somewhere because I just think that looks really pretty. So stuff like that. All right, so when you're happy with your design, we're going to download it. So you're going to go share, download, and then just JPEG. You can do PNG. Um, it is just a bigger file size. So it's up to you. Um, when you have the free version, you can't play with these settings. I'm using the free version so I can show you guys. That's my excuse because I messed up and should use my other profile. But anyway, this is good because I can show you what's free and what's not. So then you go download and that will download and you can set that as your desktop wallpaper. All right. So the next step is making this into your new phone wallpaper. Now, if you have the paid version of Canva, you can go to resize and magic switch. So it will literally resize it into a phone wallpaper. You will have to play around with a couple of things though. Um, but it will resize for you, but it won't let me because this is the free version. But do not despair. If you go home and you already have all your photos in there, you just go to phone wallpaper and then vision board and there'll be tons. And all you have to do is chuck your images in there. And it actually sometimes can be better this way. I did this last year because I just kind of liked the layout better for a phone rather than a desktop. Obviously it's very, very different. So there's so many ones you can do in there. So you, all you do is choose one that you like Hop in there and then do the exact same process. So say let's, we chose this one, customize this template, and then you already have all your images here. If you go to uploads and then you chuck them all in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that's what you do. It's the exact same process as last time. And yeah, it's obviously this one's free. And then again, you go share and then you download it. Let's just pretend this is our one for our phone. We're gonna go share, download. We're gonna go JPEG and download. Um, and we can obviously airdrop this to our phone. Now, Firstly, I'm going to show you how to make this your actual desktop wallpaper. So what you're going to do is go to your downloads where you had it, right click, and then you're going to say set desktop picture. So here it is. 
Isn't it beautiful? I love it. It's so, so nice. All right, so that's all done. Now we're going to set up your phone wallpaper, which we also saved in here. All right, so to set our phone wallpaper, we're gonna to go to downloads where we just saved our wallpaper. And we're gonna go share, and then we're gonna airdrop it to ourselves. So send it to myself. Here it is, obviously that's not my actual wallpaper, but I'm just trying to give you an example. So then we're gonna go press this one, and then we're gonna put it as use as wallpaper. Now with this one, it's also gonna um, ask you to choose a home screen for it as well. So I'm just gonna press add, and then you can set it as a wallpaper pair or you can customize a home screen basically. But that is, that's all done. And that my friends is how we do a digital vision board. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it wasn't too bloody all over the place. But yes, I hope that helped. Um, I know doing things like digitally can be a bit overwhelming, but using Canva and doing the steps I showed you makes it so much easier. And I even love redoing my vision boards throughout the year. So you guys know I do my year into four phases. So three months, I focus on certain goals at a time. So you could literally make even like your phone wallpaper to focus on the first phase of the year, which could be more health or like career or whatever you're focusing on just for that part of the year. And then you can freshen it up again because it just takes two seconds. But yes, anyways, guys, I'm going to finish up my phone vision board now and I will show you guys in next week's vlog. My vlogs are back. I hope you enjoyed this little mini series, the 2024 reset. If you haven't seen the other episodes make sure you check them out below there's like a free workbook there's so much goodness in there and it's really just going to get you set up for the year with your goals creating your perfect routine and everything and this workbook is like 20 pages and it's free and this is the last time that it's going to be free so make sure you do check it out anyways guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys on monday bye